Hello and welcome to a Vector Tut's quick tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I'm going to show you how to speed up your workflow in InDesign using nested styles. So let's say you're designing a book and the first paragraph of every chapter has this red drop cap and then the first few words of the sentence are in small caps. Now that's not that big of a deal. You could set that up pretty quickly. But if you take some time up front to create a nested style, then you can apply it with one click to another paragraph. Let's take a look. I've already created some character styles, the red of the drop cap and the small caps of the lead-in sentence. So now I'm going to edit the paragraph style to include those in the nested styles. Right now this paragraph is in a style called body copy. Just right click on it to edit it and then go down to drop caps and nested styles on the left. Under drop caps I'm going to increase the number of lines and as I do that you can see the drop cap appear. Make sure you have the preview button on by the way but it needs to be red and in a different font, so that's where the character style comes in, and you can choose it in the drop-down menu here. Now for the small caps, we'll use a nested style. So click New Nested Style, and in the drop-down menu, choose the small caps character style. Now if this weren't already made, you could create a new character style right from here. So we're going to tell InDesign to use that style through five words, and I can enter the value here. I can change it to five, to two, whatever. And there you can see that the first five words are in the small caps style. Well, that was pretty easy, but let's say you have a catalog or something with lots of different styles in each paragraph. Of course, you don't want to go through each paragraph and format them individually. So let's take a look at the paragraph style and see how it's constructed. In the nested styles area, you can see that there is a style for the number that goes through one word. I could just have easily put a period there to stop that style. The item name in red bold goes up through the colon. Then I have a nested style of none. That means I don't want any formatting on this text until it gets to, and that is up to, the dollar sign where the price starts. Next comes the price style, which is red italic, that goes through one sentence. So now it's just a single click in this plain text to change it to the catalog style. So a little effort up front will save you tons of time in the long run. Now what happens if you want to change the style on a line-by-line -line basis? As of CS4, there is a thing called line styles. I'm going to double-click on this style to edit it, go to nested line styles, and choose the purple highlight character style that I've already created. That's set for one line, so you can see that on each paragraph, the first line has the purple highlight. Let's say I wanted every other line to be purple. I'll create a new style of none for one line, and then I'll create a third style called repeat that will last for two lines. It repeats the first and second line styles that I created. So there you have every other line in the purple. And the great thing about this is that you can change the text and the line style doesn't change. So even if I reduce the point size, each line retains that formatting. And that's pretty cool. 